All right, good morning. How you doing? It's your boy, Big Rich. 12 nights of Christmas. Night one is in the books. Night two will be tonight. But first, we got to conduct some morning business. What you thought? Because I was going to do night shows. I wasn't going to put up stories in the morning. No, no, I grind. I'm not like those people that sleep all day and, you know, bums. I get up early to handle my business. Mom Story Season 2, you already know how we get down through some smoke in the atmosphere. Wipe your feet on the rug before entering the room. It's another Wake and Bake episode. Let's get right into business. Of course, today's show is sponsored by Justice Tech Pros. Salute to Dominic and the whole team. Let's get busy. Jury convicts last Genevieve's wise guy standing for union shakedown. Of course, the article's by Ed Scarpo. Salute to Ed Scarpo and Costa Nostra News. Frankie, Frankie G. Giovinco, the last man standing in what Gangland News dubbed the Three Vincents trial, was convicted by a jury this week and now faces 20 years in prison. Giovinco, 52 of Syosset, New York, was convicted of one count of racketeering conspiracy, which carries a maximum potential sentence of 20 years in prison, and one count of conspiracy to commit extortion, which also carries a maximum potential sentence of 20 years in prison. Sentencing before U.S. District Judge Jed S. Rakoff is scheduled for March 11, 2020. Jeffrey S. Berman, the United States Attorney for the Southern District of New York, announced that Giovinco was convicted of conspiring to commit extortion and racketeering offenses with members and associates of the Genovese crime family of La Cosa Nostra following a six-day jury trial before Judge Rakoff. I think this is the same judge that told the lawyers he could send the the ceremony, the ceremony induction and all that stuff. Send it to Robert De Niro. We don't need it in my court. You don't need to explain the jury what's used and what's needed and how they perform the omerta and all that stuff. That's the same judge. We talked about this guy already. The jury found the defendant responsible for acts involving extortion honest services fraud, and unlawful kickback payments related to the Genovese crime family control of two local chapters of a labor labor union. Berman said, for years, Frank Giovinco, as a member of the Genovese crime family, instilled fear in victims and propagated kickback schemes to tighten the family's stronghold over the two labor unions. Now a jury has held Giovinco accountable for his crimes. According to the indictment documents previously filed in the case and evidence introduced at trial, the largest of the families operating in the New York City area is the Genovese crime family. In the early 1990s, Giovinco was inserted by the Genovese crime family into a scheme to control the waste carting industry of New York City, and as far back as the late 1900s, Giovinco was a member of the Genovese crime family. In more recent years, and continuing until 2017, Giovinco conspired with other members and associates of the Genovese crime family to commit a wide range of crimes to enrich themselves and the Genovese crime family, including multiple acts of extortion, honest service fraud, and bribery. Giovinco's activity for the Genovese crime family was centered on two local chapters, two local chapters of a labor union. Giovinco participated in a host of schemes designed to manipulate and siphon money from the unions for the benefit of the Genovese crime family. Amongst other things, Giovinco extorted a financial advisor and a labor union official for a cut of commission made from union investments. Audio recordings captured Giovinco planning to rattle the cage of a victim and, ha and to have other victims' feet held to the fire. When official one failed to pay the commissions demanded by Giovinco and other members of the Genovese crime family, official one's life was threatened by Giovinco and his co-conspirators. Giovinco further plotted to profit from union investments by paying kickbacks to official one and others in exchange for a cut for future commissions. Giovinco also participated in a long-running extortion of a union president for annual tribute payments for more than $10,000 and sought a job at the union for the purpose of exerting control over Official One on the Genovese crime family's behalf and threatening to replace Official Number One. 
The case is being prosecuted by the office's Violent and Organized Crime Unit. Assistant U.S. Attorney Kimberly J. Ravner, Jason A. Richmond, and Justin V. Rodriguez are in charge of the prosecution, assisted by paralegal specialist Hannah Harney. But either way, salute to Ed Scarpo. Great story. Salute to you, sir. And uh, we appreciate uh, the article. Salute to the whole team, Team Ruckus. Don't forget, tonight is night two of 12 Nights of Ruckus. We appreciate everybody coming into the room. Just a couple of hours of, you know, a little sipping, a little smoking, talking some stuff, having some fun. 12 Nights of Ruckus. Make sure you catch at least one night. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to miss all 12. And again, uh, salute to everybody. Salute to Mob Stories. Salute to Team Ruckus. Everybody have a good morning. Throw some smoke in the air. Let me know what you're smoking on. We will see each other, I guess, tomorrow morning for some more business. All right? This is your boy, Big Rich, Ruckus Radio Podcast, Mob Story Season 2, and we out of here. Make sure you like the story. Make sure you share the story. Make sure you press the bell so you get all the alerts for the videos. All right? Everybody have a good morning. Salute.